Hey, it's Glenn and Cameron. Be sure to sign up for the 50 Laws of Hustling, which drops 6 p.m. tonight. During this wonderful holiday season, I had a lot of time to talk to clients, and I got a really strange email from one of my clients. It's like, I want to talk to you about something. Pay for a consult, and it had nothing to do about business. It was all about his love life. I was just like, okay, I'm just like, you, what are you talking about here? And he goes on and he drops what is happening with this person. And, you know, he started making excuses. And at one point I just came in and just said, this is the deal. You don't need time. You need clarity. That is one of the biggest things that messes up hustlers. You know, in the case of my client and his dramatic life, when you are unclear on what's the right path to take, you tell yourself, I just need more time. Especially in the realm of relationships, people. A little bit more time. Not exactly. When you meet somebody that is appropriate for you, and you did the work on yourself before you met them, you don't need a lot of time. You frequently hear of people who met and within a year were married, stay married 20, 30, 40, 50 years. You hear of people who dated two, three, four, five, six years, got married, got divorced within a year. Clarity, the act of getting married creates a certain clarity that didn't exist before they got married. And that's one of the reasons, in my opinion, that that happens so frequently. Now, as a hustler strategy, you know, going back to one of my favorite movies, and if you've been a long time viewer, you've heard me mention this before. It's called Confessions, Alec Baldwin, Ben Kingsley. Get the movie if you can on Netflix. Don't know if it's on Netflix, but it's an awesome movie. And there's this thing that goes back to what I'm talking about with clarity. And there's this thing, it's like, people often wonder what is the right thing to do and then you know he's like that's not the problem knowing what the right thing is to do is the problem once you figure out what the right thing is to do you do it and I want you to ask yourself how many times in your life when you knew exactly what the right thing was you just did it 9-11 New York City there was no crime there was this big enemy of everyone nobody knew what was going on People were helping each other. Nobody was committing crime. No one was committing murder because people thought we were at war and we were. So they governed their behavior differently because they didn't, there, was this, there was this driver that said the right thing to do is to help your fellow man. None of this other stuff. There's something bigger. We can't be acting a fool. And as a hustler, you have to have clarity on your hustle. Why are you hustling? Seriously, why are you hustling? I got to get money. Okay, that's one element. What's the big driver? Is it really the money or is it the main money you can buy? Do you like hustling? Do you like flipping stuff? Do you like buying stuff? Why are you hustling? Once you become clear, get that clarity on why you're hustling, why you want to start a business, why you want to do all of these entrepreneurial things. Once you get that clarity, things take off at light speed. I was hanging out with some other writers and I mentioned that I wrote my first book in three months. July 17th, August 17th, September September 17th. I, the book dropped in October. And it's like, <clears throat> that was remarkably fast. And one even said, because in the writing community there is this stigma that if you write something fast, it's shit. It's crap. And one person's like, well, Okay, so you wrote your first draft, and then when I said I put it out, there was like, really? It was just, that's not what one does. You, you write your first draft, you write your second draft, you write your third draft, you write your fourth draft, you write your fifth draft, and then you put it out, and they were going on and on and on and on. Now, I was very clear on what I wanted to achieve with the book. Put, write the book, start it and finish it, make money off the book, Goal one and goal two achieved. 
I should have put in there and make the book perfect. No type of, I didn't, that wasn't part of it because it was my first book. And if you're going to fuck up, the best time to fuck up is on your first book. Now, what's very interesting with this group of writers that I was hanging out with, they were all poor. One even took the bus to the meeting. But they were telling me how to make a living as a writer. Because their level of clarity is, in my opinion, disfused as fuck. Because the world of writing has changed. If you can't make it as a writer today, it's not because traditional publishing has changed. It's not because... Well, the people aren't reading. People are actually reading more than they've ever read before in any time in history with email, text. That constitutes reading. Yes, it does. Just because it's not a full-ledged book, some people actually read 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 words a day, mostly kids, with text. If you send somebody 140 character text or with iPhone, as long as the hell you want, you might talk to someone in a, one conversation. That might be 1,500 words. Back and forth. Maybe 2,000. Happens all of the time. So clarity is more important than time. I wrote a book in three months. I know people in the writing group in a year, two years, three years, four. They're still working on that first damn book. Why? There's no clarity. Don't know what they want to write about. Don't know. It's just like, I'm going to sit here. And I'm going to let the muse tell me what it wants to tell me. I'm going to let the muse. I'm not that kind of writer. I'm that kind of writer who's like, yo, muse, me, bitch, where are you? Come here. Bring your. Yeah, yeah, do this. I'm that kind of guy. It's a little rough, but some of you are offended. Fuck you. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> the whole deal is you have to get clarity. On your hustle, your life, why you're doing what you're doing. Because when you get that sense of clarity, when you get that sense of purpose, it's very, very easy to make decisions. You don't have to ponder. You don't have to go back and forth. You don't have to ask Fudo the dog or, you know, put your, your prayer clam up on the dresser. You don't have to do that because you have clarity. And the first way that you're going to get clarity is to have a philosophy and goals for what you're doing. That comes before the clarity because you go into a situation like say with the Marines, they have a certain philosophy and a process on the how to deal with the unexpected. Once you get 70% of the information, move forward because the time you get the other 100% of the information, conditions have changed. So they've got a mechanism to help them deal with the unknown. You should have a mechanism to help you deal with the unknown by having a philosophy, a way that you live your life, a certain certain guidelines. Like, I just have certain things I'm just not going to deal with. In business, life, love, whatever, I'm just not going to deal with. And they're deal breakers. You have to think about that before. And you, your deal breakers have to be realistic. Some people have deal breakers that, well... I'm not going to date that person because they're renting and own the house. That is kind of crazy. Just my opinion. But another deal breaker some people that have, it's real stupid. They're 5'3", and the person's, if that person's not 6 feet tall and they're 5'3", they're not going to date them. Those are not well thought out design deal breakers. Or, you know, the dude who's 300 pounds, but he wants his chick to be 120 not really well thought out and you look like boo boo the fool for real with that kind of thought process so with clarity it's going to enhance your business it's going to enhance your hustle and it's going to enhance your life so understand this is not something that you really should put off this is something that you should examine this is something you should examine today this is something that you need to check out right freaking now because once you get clarity, you get peace, you get money, you get time. When I moved out of the storage auction space into the internet marketing space, that's what I do. I'm, I'm proud of it and I claim that. The clarity for me was, hey, you do this switch, you're not going to make as much money initially. Knew it going in. Eyes wide open. I knew it. But I had clarity on the situation which helped me guide my decision. The benefits that I got from making that decision is 
I have a lot of control over my time. I have more control of my time than most people that I know, who unless they're retired. That was the trade-off, and I love it, and to me it was worth it, because when you control your time, you control your life. If other people are controlling your time, they're controlling you, your life, your choices, what you can and can't do for the most part, Monday through Friday. Think about it. Can you, without taking the day off, go hang out at the museum with your kids today? Can you, without taking off, just say, hey, or plan it, I'm going to go to London for a week to hang out with my friend. Can you do that? No, most people can't. Even people with the money because they don't have control of their time. Once you control your time, there's so many other things that just fall into place. So understand that. So take some time today, pull out the sheet of paper, and right at the top, clarity. What, how much, you know, what kind of clarity do you have for your business? Why are you doing what you're doing? Once you start figuring that stuff out, it just totally enhances and changes everything. All right. Once again, this is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you on the good side. And if you haven't done it already, be sure to download my free audiobook, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. Bam. First link below.